it's like an overwhelming happiness just to just to get to finally hold her and kiss her for the first time and just kind of see how much she looks like you and it's just like an instant love quit that quit that we kind of thought we had a little bit of time there but we really didn't when I first heard about Ellie, I'd been working late one night at my desk, and here was an email about this little girl with a serious condition. I actually forgot what I was doing as I thought about what they were going through. Ellie was four months old when she was diagnosed. She had a CT scan and MRI and everything, and I mean, when we were told that she had a brain tumor, it kind of kind of hits you like a rock, like um, you, you don't know where your life is headed and it's emotional and overwhelming and scary, very, very scary. All I remember is crying and having to make phone calls to tell everyone that, you know, in a few hours she was going in for a brain surgery to remove the tumor and everything moved so quickly. We were admitted. She could, couldn't eat for six hours. Um, and then that day she had her first nine hour brain surgery. Ellie has had 16 surgeries, but she's gonna start radiation here shortly. And then she's gonna be on chemotherapy for a year after radiation. And when that's done, She'll be in remission and living a perfectly healthy life, and she'll be doing good. We're hopeful. We're hopeful. I mean, me as a parent, I won't bury my child. She's not a statistic by any means. A few days ago, she had a brain surgery, and look at her now. She's up and running and walking. I mean, if anybody's going to beat it, it's going to be this kid. Glioblastoma is a an adult brain cancer and so I feel that the statistics of survival in children are a little skewed um, so I I mean the doctors never really gave us you know a percentage you know because she's not a percentage she's she's a kid you know and like I said this kid's gonna need it no doubt in my mind um, we're hopeful <laughs> that's all I can say we're hopeful 